Howdy everybody, you bunch of fucking downies, Brian A here. Right, I'm gonna get straight into this commentary because I've got fuck loads to talk about. <coughs> and my voice is going. I'm absolutely fucking ill today. Um but obviously I'm a I'm a strong man, I'm gonna brave it through and I'm gonna do this commentary for you. Anyway, sorry about it being so late. I mean I done this two days ago, right? Took us ages to upload because my fucking computer was being an absolute retard. And then by the time I got it on YouTube, they took it down straight away for freaking copyrighted music. It was local hero for fuck's sake. You know the one that the player when the Newcastle players come out. That's it. It was it was a little bit of that at the start and at the end. And apparently that means my video is violating international law and it deserves to be taken down. I'm sorry, right? There's child porn on the internet. That's far fucking worse than me putting a little bit of music in the background of my video. Anyway, ran over. It's up now. I hope it is anyway. I'm talking ages ago. Um, if you're watching this, it's probably on YouTube, maybe. Yeah, of course it is. Anyway, this is the first episode of Top Lad. Or Top Lass, if there's a girl, but there'll probably not be. Top Lad, episode one, by Spicy Miyakad, a.k.a. Mike Lattinson. This game is absolutely amazing, by the way. 60 for one. Um using his reaper, he doesn't even know how to use his reaper properly and he still gets an absolutely amazing game uh, so just enjoy the game and the reason I'm doing this is because obviously I, c I can play COD a little bit but I can't like get amazing games all the time and especially not like this good and um, the reason is I've got no time really and I like doing commentaries and I know lots of people like listening to me commentaries I don't know why but um, so I can get more of these out, I'm going to start doing loads of them by the way, um, I need people to send us videos, so the way I'm going to do it is, it's going to be in this series, Top Lad, it's an absolute crap name I know, but I hope you enjoy it, and uh, the way to get your videos on is to send them to exxongamingclan at gmail.com, um, upload them to YouTube, have them unlisted or listed, I'm not bothered really. Um, and then just send us a message in an email with the YouTube link. I'll download it if I think it's good enough and I'll commentate over it. And that's all I want to say. Um, so I'll be able to do loads of commentaries then with proper good gameplays that you can actually enjoy watching. Um, obviously, there's not be like me getting 20 for 7 or something, which is absolutely like average as fuck. Um, this 60 for 1 is absolutely amazing, by the way. I'm going to keep orgasming over it. Um, speaking of orgasms, the other day I actually got kicked off the Xbox because it was like half ten at night on a school night. I got a throw knife across the map and I started doing laps around my room, screaming my head off. I mean, that's a bit sad. It's actually really sad. But um, yeah, I'll just sort of share that with you. Anyway, I'm going to start talking about football. I've got two topics really to talk about. Football and Scientology. I'll start with football. And I'm pissed off. I'm really pissed off. Newcastle lost. Twice now, twice in a row, once in the league, Fulham, 5-2, are you taking the piss? How can you be 1-0 up? How can you be 1-0 up in the first half and then capitulate like that? I mean, seriously, it was absolutely diabolical. Um, I watched it a little bit, sorry about the sniff. <laughs> I watched it a little bit on um, Match of the Day and they were absolutely shit in the second half. I mean, Pardew, you need to get sorted, pal. Um, I'm so glad Demba Bond and CC are coming back though. I mean, that's a real big um, bonus for her. Um, they'll probably be back for the Aston Villa game. I'm going to that. Um, probably not back for um, Wednesday's game against Blackburn. They might be on the bench maybe because uh, they've got a game today. This is Sunday. Um, they've got a game against Zambia. Some fucking wog country. Sorry for being racist. Um, that is a naughty word to say and you should not repeat that in front of your school peers. Um, but yeah, they'll be fucking running around chasing whatever. Um, so yeah, we've got them two lads back, and I'm, I'm looking forward to see what their sort of combination's going to be like, if it's actually going to work out for them. Uh, I hope it does. I really hope it does. But the FA Cup yesterday, I mean, I watched it on ESPN with the boys, Louis, Sam, Staffsy, the stupid dirty packy that I love. Um, Bruce, is that it? I think that was it. Aye, we, had a, we had a good time that day but fucking hell the match was absolutely crap and they just got a jammy little goal and I'm not even going to blame the referee the referee had a shocker by the way but I'm not going to even blame him for how bad we were we're at, we played so bad I mean how am I you need to get your fingers out lads you're getting paid out of that 20 grand a week 
20 grand a week, man. How are you can do better than that? You just run around a football pitch for 90 minutes, man. Get it sorted. Anyway, I can see uh, this company's coming along a bit, so I'll shut up about that. Um, there's a derby today, and I say derby, it's not really a derby. It's Millsrath versus Sunderland, man. Middlesbrough, little desperate bastard, think it's a derby, but Jordy's and Mackens just think he's a pathetic. If there's any smoggies watching this, by the way, I'm sorry, but my experience of people from Middlesbrough isn't very good. Now, lots of people know who I'm talking about now, but he is an absolute bell end who I'm talking about from the area of Middlesbrough. Um, there's a place north of Millsbrough, it begins with a B, what's it called again? I know what it's called, but I'm not going to say it because it'll give it away too much. But my experience of smoggies are that the absolute fucking bell ends. End of. And I hope Sunderland beat them. And that sounds absolutely disgusting coming from a Geordie, but I absolutely hope that Sunderland ravage them. Because I hate, I hate that stupid team down there that are in Yorkshire and think they're a North East team. Anyway, I'll show up about that. Um, I'm going to talk about Scientology, but I've got no fucking time, really. All I've got to say is, I am shit scared about talking about Scientology, because they look like a bunch of absolute fucking nutcases that'll come and rape us when I'm asleep, put their dicks up my arse. That's why I am so scared about talking about them. And it's just, it's not even a religion. How is that a religion, man? Only America could come up with something where you, you pray to some fucking... Xenu God locked up in his electronic cage in space. You know what? I hope he is. I hope he's locked up today. But unfortunately, he's not fucking real, is he? He's not real. Get it through your stupid thick skulls. And how there's there's apparently a Church of Scientology in Sunderland. Anyway, I'm gonna say my shout outs now before I forget them. So here we go. Surrey, Hayden, Lemon, Owen Cherry, Rob, Fat Rob, Sam and Stevie H. There you go. If you want any comment, um, if you want to follow us on Twitter, ask Bray Cry and slash face, slash Brian if on Facebook. See you later, dickheads. Bye.